In this video, we'll cover how to connect your Magtech eDynamo card reader to Rescue POS and how to run a credit card transaction. The Magtech eDynamo is a wireless countertop card reader that is battery powered. It's a long life battery, but it does need to be charged every night. Since it's stationary, many of our customers just leave it plugged in. It's Bluetooth connected. Before you attempt to connect the card reader, you must fully charge the battery overnight. Out of the box, even if it turns on, if it's not fully charged, it won't connect. It can read both swipe and EMV chip cards, but it does not have NFC, so you can't use Apple Pay or hold a cell phone up to pay. It's worth mentioning that only one iPad can connect to the card reader, and you can only use one card reader per iPad. Get to know your card reader. In the box, you'll find the card reader, the card reader case, and the charging cable. To open the case, lightly squeeze the two tabs on the side and lift up the top. The charging cable uses a common micro USB connector. Insert the power cable into the power port of the card reader and be careful not to force it. You will need to supply a charging brick. The manufacturer recommends a 5 volt adapter commonly used with smartphones. Connecting the eDynamo to Rescue POS. When the card reader is fully charged, you're ready to connect it to Rescue POS. Remove the card reader from the case. Hold the small button above the charging port until the blue light flashes rapidly. It's now in pairing mode, indicated by the slow blinking blue light. In Rescue POS, tap the gear to go to settings. Tap configure card reader. Tap T-Dynamo or E-Dynamo. You should see something listed under discovered devices at the bottom of the screen. If you see more than one device listed, check the bottom of the card reader case to match the serial number. Tap the device you wish to connect to and wait for the Bluetooth pairing request. Enter the code 000, 000, 000 that's six zeros. The card reader status should now show connected. If that worked, you're ready to test the card reader with a transaction. Card reader connection troubleshooting. If after tapping the device, you see the message connected but not paired, Hold the pairing button on the card reader again to see if the pairing request pops up on the iPad. If it does, enter the six digit code, all zeros. It should now be connected. If it still says device not paired or is stuck connecting, we want to clear the device and try again. In the top right corner of the screen, tap disconnect device, go to the iPad Bluetooth settings. In My Devices, tap the blue eye next to the eDynamo and choose Forget This Device. Reopen Rescue POS and follow the instructions for connecting the card reader. If the card reader doesn't show up at all, go to Settings on the iPad, scroll down to Rescue POS, and make sure Bluetooth and Local Network are both enabled. Under Bluetooth on the iPad, you can also turn Bluetooth off and back on. If you're still unable to get the card reader connected, contact Rescue Support for additional assistance. Testing the card reader. To test the card reader, run a test transaction. Add a product that is at least $1 to the order. In the checkout screen, you do not need to tap a button for credit cards. Insert the card with the chip facing toward the swipe side of the reader. When the transaction goes through, this completes the test. If you get an error, double check to make sure the card has been inserted in the correct orientation. If you're still having trouble, contact Rescue Support. In this video, we covered the components of the eDynamo, how to charge, and how to connect the card reader in Rescue POS. Thank you for watching.